Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. Today is week three of my Christmas book exchange with my three booktube besties, Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand, Lindsay from Lindsay's Little Library, and Amanda from On the Middle Shelf. Hopefully you have seen the other two weeks where I've already opened a few treasures from them. This year, again, we're just doing a book and a goodie for each week instead of so many books, since we're all trying to be a little bit smarter about how many books are joining our shelves. I have a book and a gift from each of Sarah, Amanda, and Lindsay. And I am going to open those with you now. And I'm so excited. I will have everything linked down below to check out their channels as well as the last couple of weeks. But today I'm going to start with Sarah's gifts and see what she gave me for a book and a goodie. I thought at first that this was a puzzle, but it doesn't sound like one. I don't know. But Sarah has been the one that has tried to match her goodie with her book, which has been so much fun. So book three from Sarah says, Tiny Things and a Richmond Author. Ooh. A Richmond Author. Rachel B. Land is a Richmond Author. Um, Lisa Weiss. There's a whole bunch of people that are Richmond Authors. Jennifer Chavarini is a local or Virginia author. Ooh. Ah, uh, fun. I've heard of this one, The Minuscule Mansion, The Minuscule Mansion of My Myra Malone. Goodness, that's a tongue twister. By Audrey Burgess. Did I hear about this from Sarah? I don't remember. 34-year-old Myra from her attic blogs about a dollhouse mansion that captivates thousands of readers worldwide. Her stories have created a legion of fans who breathlessly await every new Minuscule Mansion post, trade photographs of mansion modeled rooms, and swap theories about the enigmatic and reclusive author. Myra herself is tethered to the mansion by mysteries she doesn't understand. Rooms that appear and disappear overnight, music that plays in its corridors. And across the country in Virginia, Alex Rakes, the scion of a custom furniture business, encounters two mansion fans trying to recreate a room. The pair shows him the minuscule mansion, and Alex is shocked to recognize a reflection of his own life mirrored back to him in minute scale. The room is his own bedroom, and the mansion is his family's home handed down from the grandmother who disappeared mysteriously when Alex was a child. Searching for answers, he begins to corresponding with Myra, and together the two unwind the lonely paths of their twin worlds, big and small, and trace the stories that entwine them, setting the stage for a meeting rooted in loss but defined by love. Holy moly, that sounds so good. That sounds so good. I'm excited. Thank you, Sarah. I need to read that one soon. And then this says, goodie number three, lots of tiny things, which makes me think puzzle. Maybe it's one of those kits that you put, build something, some kind of miniature. What is it? Whoa, this is so cool. Free time bookshop. It's a mini town. It comes with batteries. So I'm assuming there's lights in there. I love this. DIY. 14 and up. Savor the true life during reading. Holy cannoli. That is so cool. So it's a miniature bookshop that you put together. Lots of little pieces are going to be in there. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Sarah. That's really cool and it fits perfectly with this book. You're so creative. Oh my goodness. I'm so impressed and I'm so eager to put that together. I might have to do that in a video this month. We'll see. Let's go on to Amanda's book and this one's definitely a puzzle. <laughs> book number three says future buddy read. Yes, we haven't buddy read in a while, Amanda. We need to remedy that this year, this coming year see what the book is. Uh, a Mother's Promise. Ooh, what is this? Can't get it out. There we go. A Mother's Promise by K.D. Alden. I feel like I know that author's name, I think. She'd do anything to hold her baby one more time. Set in Virginia, 1927, all Ruth Ann Riley wants is a chance to have a family, but because she was poor and unwed when she became pregnant, she was sent to an institution and her child was given to another woman. Already, I'm interested. 
Ruth Ann can't stand the thought of never seeing little Annabelle's face again, never snuggling up to her warmth or watching her blue eyes crinkle with laughter. And now they want to take her take away her right to have any other babies, she is not going to let that happen. All the rich and fancy folks may call her feeble-minded, but Ruth Ann is smarter than any of them have bargained for because no matter how high the odds are stacked against her, she is going to overcome the scandals in her past and get her child back. She just never expects her battle will go to the U.S. Supreme Court or that she would find unexpected friendships and even the possibility of love along the way. Oh my goodness. No, this is her debut based on the true story behind a landmark court case. Katie Eldon's debut is a rich and moving story of one woman's courage and strength at a pivotal point in America's history. Oh my word, that sounds fantastic. That sounds so good. I have loved like Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez and Necessary Lies, which talk about reproductive rights of women um, and connection with the welfare system and how the welfare system up until the 60s and 70s was using kind of forced sterilization as a, a way to prevent those women from getting pregnant. So I feel like it's kind of connected to that in some way, but even earlier in the 1920s, all the way to the Supreme Court, based on a true story, I'm so in. Puzzle. Is it going to be a Christmas one? Oh, fun. This is a great puzzle. I love it. Book club. I love this puzzle. Harry S Henry Snodder with the lightning bolt. All the titles are a little bit different or like twists on real, on real books. Catch a fairy by the tail, 20,000 channels on TV. Oh my goodness. The Phantom of the Opossum, The Adventures of Strawberry Finn. <laughs> love it. The Jungle Puzzle. The Origin of Secrets, Pride and Prune Juice. <laughs> Fun! What a great puzzle for book lovers. I love it. And then we have Lindsay's Day 3 or Week 3. So her book says, her book says, A Story of Family Betrayal and Long Buried Secrets. Ooh. I'm interested in that. I'm upside down as well. Oh, this is really soft. <laughs> the Lost Girls of Devon by Barbara O'Neill. How funny. She gave me uh, another Barbara O'Neill book last year. When we, Why We Believed in Mermaids or something like that. I think it's the same author. I can't see it right here. But A Missing Woman, A Dead Girl, A Village of Secrets. It's been years since Zoe has been to the small Devon village of her birth. But the wounds she suffered there still ache. When she learns that her old friend and grandmother's caretaker has gone missing, she and her 15-year-old daughter return to England to help. Zoe dreads seeing her estranged mother, who left when Zoe was seen to seven, to travel the world. As the four generations of women reunite, the emotional pain of the past is awakened. And to complicate matters further, Zoe must also confront the ex-boyfriend she betrayed many years before. Oh my goodness. That sounds really good. I'm... I need to read this author now, apparently, because I have two books from Lindsay by this author. Yeah, When We Believed in Mermaids. There, it says it right there. Goodness gracious. The Lost Girls of Devon. Cool. I never heard of that one. And then a little something to keep your toes warm. Fuzzy socks, for sure, right? Let's see. <clears throat> Cute. Eat, sleep, read, repeat. Love it. Bookish socks are the best. I love it. Eat, sleep, read, repeat. I will wear those. I love to wear fun socks when I go nanny because the kids get excited to see what are on my socks. So this week we have a pair of fun socks and the Lost Girls of Devon from Lindsay. We have the Minuscule Mansion of Myra Malone as well as this little miniature bookshop from Sarah and then a fun bookish puzzle and a mother's promise from Amanda. Thank you so much, ladies. You guys are nailing it, knocking it out of the park this year. I'm so excited, as always, to open books from you because you know me so well. You just know me so well, and that's fantastic. Please don't forget to go check out all three of their channels that will be linked down below. See what I gifted them. I've realized you can't really see my shirt says silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. I do have a Christmas shirt on today. They can't really see it. And that's okay. And that's going to be it for me today. But stay tuned tomorrow for another video for Vlogmas and stay tuned next week to another and final Christmas book exchange opening.
Yikes, we're almost done. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.